So hello friends and followers. Here's the Drake R4B that I've been working on. This has been an all day effort. This is the Drake that I bought that had the transformer that milled down and it left black goo all over the deck. And it, it took me two days to uh, clean that up and other people in my life weren't too happy about the mess it made. But besides all that, here we are. The uh, R4B is, is working. Here's the uh, little pygmy transformer that is in here. It's running real hot. This is a, uh, as you can read, a 293BX upside down, albeit. That transformer wasn't quite what I wanted in that these drakes have 12 volt tubes in it. Well, it used to. Um, I ended up changing out all the 12 volt tubes for six volt tubes to get this transformer to run the drake. This only has a six volt filament. So these 12 BA6s here are now six BA6s. This tube here is now a, a uh, six BA6. This one is now a six BE6. And indeed that works fine. I also found when I got the radio working, it still had issues. The diodes in the high voltage supply were shorted. One of them was shorted, so I replaced those. And then maybe they shorted because there was the 40 meter capacitor here. This one here, that 40 meter capacitor is still shorted. It smokes and it has about 500 ohms resistance. I, I just jumped it out. I'm not using it now. 40 meters on this thing does not work yet, but when you, build something out from the dead. You, you just want to get it working at all. So that's kind of where I'm at on this thing now. But I do have all the bands working but 40. So I'll give you a little demo here. Um, I still don't have this 12 AX7 tube lit up. This tube um, works on the noise planker. So that's not working yet. I got to fix that. All the rest of the tubes are lit up which you want to have happen for the radio to work, right? So this thing is all six volt tubes now, except for that 12AX7. Now the 12AX7 has a center tapped filament, so I can run that on six volts, so that's my plan. This, uh, even the uh, audio output tube's working well, so this thing is uh, trucking along. The S meter's not working too well yet, but Hey, what are you going to do? It's it's a uh, limping along radio with a new transformer. With th th This transformer also runs really hot. I, I really probably can't even keep my hands on it. It's so hot. So there's a chance it may melt down. I, I guess if this thing runs for a few hours, it doesn't melt down. It's not going to melt down. But I've been running it now about an hour. It's not melted down yet. But it, it's running a lot hotter than, than I wanted. But anyway, it's holding together. This is 80 meters here. And that works. The audio is a little rough. I think I got some AC problems. Either this thing's bad or it's got AC in the uh, ATC voltage, in the bias voltage. I don't know. I got to look at that. But hey, this is coming back from the dead. That's 80 meters. So it works. What I love about this receiver is the fact I can click between these fillers in this thing. It's it's in this band pass. This thing is the cat's meow. I had a couple of these and I missed it, so I revived this one. Anyway, 
it's a pretty radio. It's cosmetically pretty good, at least on the outside. And I got the inside pretty spiffy now too. Except for the pygmy transformer. Okay, that's that's 80. I don't have a 160 crystal. That would probably work though. If I had that crystal, I think I have it somewhere. 40 meters doesn't work. No bueno. There's 20. Twenty works great. Is anybody on here? There were people on here before. Somebody. Anyway, this radio needs calibrated too. I have the calibration all messed up. It didn't calibrate well, so it's. It's off by about uh, 50 KCs. Anyway. All I get around here is people in Texas from Las Vegas. All I hear is Texas all the time. Texas, Texas, Texas. I get kind of tired of hearing about Texas, just get tired of it. All right, anyway, that's uh, 20, I got 15 working too. Wrong time of the day for this, but. Nothing going on now. Right? All right, there's that. And even 10 works too, so happy with that. It's got some good hiss to it. So I guess the only real action in this thing is 80 meters because 40's dead, doesn't work, and 80's all there is. Anyway, that's my demo. Let's get into the bottom of the radio here show you what it looks like. All right, some guys in AM. Anyway, yeah, solo tubes are converted now to uh, six volt tubes. That wasn't too hard. Lucky I found the uh, six BE sixes and six BA sixes. So everything in six volts running now, except for this twelve AX seven, which I gotta light this thing up. It's 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 slightly warm. I, I think it is running a little bit, but it, it's running on six volts. All right, so undersides of this thing, I'll turn it off. Those sounds are getting shocked. Pull the speaker out and let's flip the thing over. Undersides aren't pretty in that. The transformer. Okay, so I gotta replace this capacitor here. I, I, I think this capacitor runs either the bias or I don't know something. This low voltage. I gotta replace this. But I clipped it off to put in the power transformer. Power transformer. I didn't. I didn't really. Uh, 
cut the leads because I figured if the power transformer didn't work on the radio, I would take it out and save it and use it for something else. So I didn't cut the leads. I'll probably just uh, tie wrap those or something. Calibrator's not working either, so it probably needs voltage that I'm not giving it. The VFO is working, as you saw. So, how does this all work in here? Um, power comes in here. Okay, so where's the, the box? Here's the box of how the transformer looks. And you can see that the reds are the high voltage. The red, yellow is center tap for HB. It's got the uh, what brown, okay, it's got the uh, white coming in for the power and it's got gray for 115 and black for 125. Of course, I use black. And it's got green and green for six volts. That's all there is to it, people. All right, so how does that work then? So, center tap for the HV, you just ground it right there and you ground one of the so you ground the HV right there on the ground lead and you ground one of the six volt leads for the filaments to ground. And so the way they had this arranged was they had six volt center taps grounded. They had six volts going in here from one side of the transformer and they had six volts going into here. So since I don't have a center tap on 12 volts, I just merged those two wires. So they're both feeding six volts now. And what I had to do was I had to muck around with the uh, audio output tube. If you look at the schematic here, which I'm trying to get up on the screen. Here we go. Okay, note the schematic now. So this is the audio output tube and I simply cut this wire here that was on four and I grounded that and that took care of that. That lit up the audio output. So I merged the six volt wire. So I merged this wire and that wire. So these are all now running on six volts. So these tubes are now running on six volts. Well, those were six volt tubes. And now these tubes here have all been replaced with six volt tubes. So everything is running on six volts. This is a power supply for the um, PTO VFO, I haven't checked this for correct voltage. It's probably low. This thing, I could probably take that resistor out actually. This was getting fed 12 volts, rectifying through a halfway rectifier. Now it's getting 6 volts, so it's probably on the low side. But the PTO VFO is working. How well? Oh, that could be questionable. All right, so that's all we did here. I got some fixing to do on this thing, but that's how the conversion worked. The transformer does run kind of hot, and to pick up your um, your primary or your black wires, black wire and white wire on this thing, um, those were here. Here's one of the black wires right here for the uh, primary of the transformer. And the other one, you just attach it right there to the line cord coming in and that's all you do. That'll go through your front switch and give you switched power. Again, these two pins here, two greens, are for the six volts. You just jump those together if you're going to replace the transformer with a six volt transformer and then you have to take pin four on B7 and ground that so that runs on six volts. And you're going to muck around with the uh, 12X7. I haven't done that yet, but Gotta get on that too. I'll just ground the, uh, the center tap of the filament on 12VX7 and the other two pins, I'll just have those go to six volts. That's all we'll do with that. And that'll run that tube. The 12VX7 on the Singer's runs an noise blanker, which doesn't work very well. So it probably do, does work in balancing the meter, I think, but I'm not sure. Anyway, that's about that. The meter in this one doesn't work very well right now. The audio is not great. The sensitivity seems sort of decent, but well, it's back from the dead. So that's my little treatment of this whole action here. And oh yes, so here's the problem. So this thing was smoking when I fired it up. This resistor here was smoking because it was there was a short. So that could be what happened to this thing a way, way a long time ago. We overhead it. But anyway, there was a there's a resistor that feeds 
B plus on this thing, and the resistor is right where here. This resistor here is pretty much smoked. Um, I gotta replace it, but I simply disconnected it for a bush fix, and you can see the glove of solder there to see if I can find the short. Um, tried to own this crap out, and I found that in this section here, the 40 meter uh, capacitor is, is shorted, or it's on its way to being shorted. It smokes when there's B plus applied. So I simply jumped out. You can see the wire here going to it. It's uh, not going anywhere. There's the loose wire for the 40 meter right there. And I cut it off at the bottom uh, row here, which are all getting together, and I ran this white jumper wire. So I basically shorted out the 40 meters. I could probably put like, a cap on the bottom here and run it that way. And I may do that because I don't want to really take this all apart. Just do it that way as a bush fix. And that's that. I cleaned this stuff out with detox it all these rows. And it seemed like they all cleaned up. I'm not sure why that's shorted, but I don't think I'll be taking that all apart. It's not worth it. So that's my story on this R4B. We'll see if it turns out to be a really good radio. Right now, it's a working radio. It's a work in progress. So, yeah, on these radios, you usually want to replace this transistor here, which is for the uh, AGC, ABC. Replace these capacitors. There's a bunch of things I still want to do in here to get it perfect or acceptable. So, and of course, it hasn't really been tuned up at all. Replace that capacitor down there. You know, just kind of muck around with it. Get it working well. Yeah, I don't like that I left those wiring here, but I, I wasn't sure the transformer will work. I, I'm still not sure the transformer will work. The, the, the test is leave this radio on all day, and if it survives all day and the transformer doesn't melt down, and put a very small fuse in here, then try that and see if it goes. Maybe put it in the garage where it won't catch anything on fire. The transformer is undersized, but I couldn't find one that had a uh, 250 or 260 volt center tap. This one's a 300 volt center tap, and it's probably overpowering the radio a bit, but that's all I could find, and it has two amps of uh, filament current. All right, that's my little uh, lecture on the Drake R4B. This is the radio from hell, which I bought, and it turned out to be a lot more work than I wanted. But uh, that's how it goes. When you restore all radios, you take what you can get and you try your best. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.